Okay, I know I don't need more socks, but I mean, come on. Look at these. Look at these socks, though. <laughs> hey guys, so I know that I look really cute right now with my hairdo. Um, I just kind of woke up and I got a message. I've been getting a lot of messages on my Tumblr actually lately about minimalism. And I check um, the views on my videos and I notice that the minimalist... Um, videos get the most views so I wanted to make another video because I have a lot in my mind about minimalism lately that I wanted to share so I have actually slipped up a few times I guess on my minimalism journey and bought in some clothes that you know I I wear a lot actually um because you know it's summer and um my body is changing a little bit so different stuff um you know fits me differently now um since going high carb low fat vegan um and doing more like squats and stuff i'm getting a more shapely butt so um i want some like comfy pants and stuff you know so i got like i went to target got some comfy pants some comfy shorts um like a jumper thing which is nice because you can just throw that on and you don't have to like worry about a top or shorts because it's all connected you know and um i got some I got two dresses for my cousin's wedding, um, I got some new shorts, <sighs> yeah, I have slipped up a few times, okay, but I feel like the clothes that I did got, I have been wearing a lot lately, so, um, it's not necessarily a fail, and I think that, like, if you slip up on your journey, you know, I think it's important to not beat yourself up so much about it, because... You are a human being, you know? And we all make mistakes. So, um, yeah. And what I did basically to make up for me slipping up is I have been getting rid of more stuff. So I've probably gotten rid of three times the amount of stuff that I have bought recently. Um, I'll insert a video of some of the stuff I've gotten rid of here. And I also will be doing an updated room tour soon. So, I had this whole plan to give all my plants to my teachers and stuff before I left school and that totally didn't happen because I totally have a problem letting go of all my plants and it's bad but obviously I'm going to have to let go of them no matter what for Hawaii so luckily my beautiful friends are willing to take them off my hands so I will be giving those away soon which is so sad I want to picture my room without them uh, my stepsister is taking my record player uh, my friend will take my records. So, yeah. I'm just kind of like going to make all that happen soon and then do a room tour. <sighs> but, yeah. Um, I guess, like, the main, like, reason that I started this minimalist journey was to clear, like, all of these thoughts in my head. Like, I need to be doing this. I need to be cleaning that. I need to be, I want to go shopping for this. You know, and like, um... I just want to be focused like straight on my health, fitness, my f relationships with my friends and my family and focus more on my self-love so that I can give more love out to others and when I have a cleaner mind because I'm not thinking about stuff and a cleaner body because I'm not putting more junky stuff like processed foods and animal products in my body, then I have the space which is all about making the space to do what I love and that's what it's all about for me so um, minimalism it really just goes hand in hand with veganism to me because I feel like vegans for the most part I mean obviously there's junk food vegans but for the most part vegans are focused on eating clean ingredients which I mean it doesn't mean eat less food but it means eat less ingredients you know because you just want to eat like the whole fruit itself or the whole vegetable itself rather than like you know something that's doesn't like a pop tart you know <laughs> like um so yeah uh <laughs> that you guys enjoyed this video and um you know uh i've been doing what i can i guess and i feel like every time that i go shopping especially if it's not at a thrift store i beat myself up so much for it and i'm like how could i you know, spend money on new material that, you know, blah blah blah, and I like really do beat myself up for it, and I'm just making this video not only to help other people, but to like remind myself that it's okay, like sometimes, to like, 
treat yourself and like I mean like obviously like I still watch all these minimalist people that like just have all their stuff on their back and travel the world with a backpack and I like want that so bad for myself but like at this time in my life like I just am not there yet and that's okay it's okay to be where you are right now and if you're enjoying your possessions and using them frequently or regularly um, then that's okay I mean you don't want to like obviously let your position your possessions give you happiness but I mean if you are happy with them then that's you on your own personal path and you don't have to be like anyone else you know like if you think that I'm refining too much like that then you don't do what I do or if you think I'm not refining enough like that's okay too you know like do what works for you because everyone's minimalist journey is different all right guys love you so much thank you for watching bye getting rid of my graduation tassel um I don't even know why I kept it this long I got rid of my cap and gown like the day after graduation don't need it I already know I graduated bye